Okay, I'm going to leave this here in the more for you, okay, so that you can see this yourself. Um, I have a, I have so much I can say about this man right here. But, you know, we still have a whole bunch of people that are rushing down that rabbit hole. And I hate to say it, but we do. We have some good people, really good people, that just haven't seen it yet. They just don't understand what I say about this guy. It's so true. Okay. This guy's not to be trusted. Alex Jones. You need to read this, okay? Stanford agent, publisher, publishing editor, and chief working for Alex Jones. Former CIA agent. That's right here, right here. Okay. Stanford agent. That's right. CIA, former Stanford agent, the whole nine yards, CIA, Stanford. And I've said this before. This guy right here has been pulling the wool over a lot of people's eyes for a long time. And he's been lying his ass off to people. Yeah, he has told a lot of truth. He had to get you to follow him. But it's the lies he tells you and what he don't tell you that's going to get you dead. And Susan Purcell right here. She done a really good job with this article. I congratulate her with this. See, you don't have to tell her she's awake to who Alex Jones really is. And there's a lot of us are, but there's more of us that ain't than are. This is what's sad. It's sort of like Carol when Carol was exposed in democracy now, Amy Goodman. It's the same thing here all over again. You know, and it's sad because, you know, Carol... As she said, she used to like and watch Amy Goodman and trusted, okay, democracy now. And then she saw the light. And now she's disgusted with what she sees. And what's sad about it is, I at one time liked democracy now too and watched Amy Goodman just like Carol did. And then I seen where I seen her and was disgusted myself. And it's the same thing with Alex Jones and Infowars.com. If you find the truth behind this, you're going to be disgusted. But, you know, truth is truth, lies is lies. And that's where this really comes from. Truth is truth, lies is lies. And because you don't want to believe something is true, because it's against your belief, doesn't make, doesn't change a damn thing. Truth is truth. Sometimes we believe stuff we find out later on was a lie. And that's part of your truth. If you're really about truth, then you have to be willing to accept the fact that you might believe something that was a lie and find out it was a lie. And you have to be willing to accept that. You're a human being. You make mistakes. We all do. There's no such thing as a human being that don't. Your education stops only when you stop educating yourself. With that being said, I'm going to leave the link for this underneath this video for you. There's a whole lot more i got to say about Mr. Alex Jones. Let me just say something. I grew up in Dallas, Texas with my family doing things like uh, helping take in East German defectors, okay? Whenever I go to a family reunion, half the people in the room are former retired CIA. And let, me, let me ask you one thing. What, what did you think of Bill Cooper? Well, Bill Cooper was an alcoholic, and I didn't ever try to attack him. He got mad because the network put me on at night. And he thought, and I'd really, really never heard his show because I didn't listen to a lot of shortly, I was busy. Uh, but I'd seen his book. It was all about flying saucers, so I didn't finish it. Somebody had given it to me at Access TV like in 96. And then he really started attacking me in 98 because he was an egomaniac. And, you know, talking about flying saucers in the ocean and, and aliens and all this stuff. And I've tried to never attack him, but people resurrected old tapes he edited of me and stuff. And I just feel sorry for Bill, and he really let him set him up and... You know, ran out there and, and uh, you know helped them kill him, and uh, it's just a big distraction, sir. I don't talk about flying saucers and all that stuff, man. I'm sorry, and uh, so I mean it's all like an ego thing, like it's two football teams and who's for who. I'm sorry for Bill, but anybody, I mean, he he was a liar though. You know, uh, one time I had him on the radio and he was cussing, and I delayed him once. Then I said, please don't cuss again. I delayed him again, and I said, okay, thank you, bye bye. It's as simple as the nose in your face. So all you little traitors marching around out there think you're going to 
going to be some big whiz in this new world order. You're not. You're going to you're going to be right up there on the on the scaffold, hanging with the rest of them. Well, sir, again, Mr. Cooper, have a good one, and uh, thanks uh, thanks for being with us this evening. Again, this is all. I guess it's not good news. It's not bad news. It is just the news. And I'll be trying to keep in touch with you. God bless. You too. Take Thank for that. So these guys have set themselves up very, very nicely to say, you know what? Uh, we're just operating as an IT company here in the United States of America. And they are the, it looks like the top, the top center of all information coming through the Internet. Stratford Corporation is. Now, this is Parker Media. Parker Media is on Molly Maroney's resume. She worked at Parker Media. Then she worked at Stratford as an intern. And then, I guess once they had her all set and done, they could stick a fork in her like she was a done hot dog. And they sent her on to Senator Whitmire of the Texas Senate. And she went to work there from June 2010 to June 2011. And what do you think she was doing there? Well, she says here that she compiled and analyzed pertin pertinent news into packets twice daily for the senator, answering phones, just doing stuff like that, right? And do you think she was reporting anything back to Stratford? What do you think? Do you think she was? She had a special little dial-up or she says, hey, this guy's diddling little boys in the back room. We just wanted to enter that into the Stratford database. You think she was reporting? Okay. Now, you need to understand that these overlapping times that exist on her resume and the conflicts that exist on her LinkedIn, that she was working for Stratford, Parker Media, and all at the same time working for Senator Whitmire of the Texas Senate. January 2010, she was working for Parker Media until January 2011. Okay, you got these dates? She was working for Senator Whitmire of Texas, June 2010 to June 2011. She was working for Parker Media, a known Stratford operation. You understand me? While she was ha while she had her seat uh, filled answering phones for Senator Whitmire, she was a known trained CIA asset, right? Well, no, Alex Jones is going to come back. He's going to say, no, 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 she was answering phones. And she was just an intern, blah, 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 conservatively an intern. That's it. Right, that's what, that's what he's going to say. Really, Alex? Well, it also says here, on this Miley, Molly Maroney's resume, clearly displayed in the public, okay, that one of her published works just so happened to be China Cyber Espionage and U.S. national security. Hmm. Wow. Was she answering? Was she answering phones? While Stratford was sending emails to Parker Media executives, Richard Parker and Patrick Boinkin, she was working at Parker Media. These folks were all connected at the time that the stupid thing hit WikiLeaks. Do you understand that? And guess what she was doing for Parker Media? Literally working on a white paper that's going to be published and it's actually being dissected. And this is really, really important, but I'm not going to read to you every single page. All right? But for the U.S. government, what it says on her resume here, I'm going to read this to you directly, so I don't want to misquote it. Uh, she said that Richard Parker was the one who actually did this report. And she did the research. Molly Maroney is listed as doing the research on this white paper for the Patriot Majority to send to the U.S. Congress on July 7th, 2010. July 7th, 2010. She was at Senator Whitmire's office on June 10th, 2010, by the way. Just wanted to let you know that. But she finished the report and it went to media. Executive summary. Listen to this. Okay, And you're going to see a copy of this document published. In the first few months of 2010, the at attention of U.S. leaders in both business and government was drawn to the issue of cybersecurity and hacking of both private sector and public sector computing infrastructure by unknown parties believed to be in China. Yet either news re uh, neither news reports nor government briefings have identified the parties responsible for these breaches. 
The U.S. Senate, as a result, overwhelmingly passed a resolution sponsored by Senator Tim Kaufman asking the government in Beijing conduct its own investigation of these intrusions and make these results known. To date, the Chinese government has not complied and has responded only by saying that hacking in China is illegal. Indeed, it has challenged accusers to prove their case. This report literally talks about cybersecurity breaches being part of an unprecedented wave of intelligence gathering in the United States, Chinese military authorities, political implications, reconnaissance, surveillance, espionage. This chick was a spy who dug up all of this research to report to Congress. She researched all this information in her own report and published it on her resume. Then guess what she did? Then after her dirty little duty with uh, Senator Whitmire, yeah, you thought she was delivering uh, cupcakes to the uh, break room at uh, Senator Whitmire's office. No. You know what she was doing? She was probably trying to intercept emails, like from Tila Tequila. Maybe a Tila Tequila email went to Senator Whitmire's office. What did she do? She intercepted it, kind of like how she does it over there at Infowars.com, right? She's supposed to be answering phones and supposed to be going through news reports, but but any tequila, tequila, tequila emails that come through, I get all those. I'll respond to those. So she's handling all the tough stuff. She knows how to do that because she's a specialist in cybersecurity. You see what I'm saying? So her dirty little deeds, while she's swinging a hip for a buck over at Senator Whitmire's office, continued on. She actually spent as a self-employed person, a graphics design individual, um, she actually worked as a graphics design person. I'm going to read this to you. Freelance graphic design, self-employed, May 2012 to July 2012 for three months. And guess who hired her with all of this information on her resume? She is now, ladies and gentlemen, the editor-in-chief for Infowars.com. Hired her after three months as a self-employed person doing graphic design. What is her primary background right now based on everything I just told you? What do you think it is? We're going to take a brief break. You think about that. I need to get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Short break. Uh, what I'm doing is not treasonous. It's actually the most patriotic thing I can do is to expose the truth for the people that if they knew... If every single one of his tens of millions of listeners knew that Alex Jones's Infowars.com was compromised by a known CIA analyst who is a, a researcher on cybersecurity and national security and all that stuff, working and intercepting emails about things like, you know, is tequila, tequila, tequila is it important? Well, this is what I believe to be important. Does she have skeletons in her closet? Sure. All the trolls bring those out all the time. To detract you from the fact that Tila Tequila knows of crimes that were committed by the people, by her handlers, that have people that have handled her all of her life, they've committed crimes. And she holds that. And she's not going to come forward with it with very many people. And Alex Jones sucked some information from her, as he normally does. And he feeds that to Stratford, you see? And then they say, oh, no, no, pull the plug. I mean, I don't understand how this works, but it's just miraculous how Tila Tequila... She gives all the information to Alex Jones. Next thing you know, uh, half hour before uh, her interview, she gets pulled. Pete Santilli, he gives all of his information to Alex Jones. One hour before the show, he gets pulled from the show. Everybody says, oh, your feelings were hurt. No, they weren't. I was very, very suspicious, especially when I find out from an IRS agent who's also a whistleblower said, Santilli, that dude's dirty, man. Okay? He did the same thing to me. That's his pattern over and over again. We supplied him with information for a year. He said he was going to put us on the air. We finally figured out he was a flake. Something was up with him, so we bypassed him. We ended up going on the AP. We got our information about a multi-billion dollar scam that was going on at the IRS. And we exposed it through the Drudge Report. Alex Jones, what did he do? He said, oh, blah, 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 I was too busy. You were too busy for the past year sucking information from them, feeding it to Stratford maybe? Question mark? That's my opinion. I think that's what he was doing. Why? Because here's what I think, ladies and gentlemen. I think Alex Jones 
is, and this is my opinion, based on the information that I have, this is factually correct, based on the recorded hours from people that have shared this with me, saying, Pete, you're the only guy that's going to go up against Alex Jones, so I'm going to share this with you. He's a dirty businessman. He shut my business down. I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. That guy is ruthless. He's nasty. He will do anything. He'll sell his wife for a buck. So Alex Jones has overhead that he's already indicated that he can't manage. So he would sell his pipeline of all of these patriots that are plugging information into his system. And he would definitely sell that to Stratford. And this is my opinion based on the information that I've gathered. And I'm giving him credit at this point to say that I don't think that the CIA would ever let his blubbering ass near them. I don't think he would. But would they Would they use him? They sure would. They'd love to pay for that pipeline. They'd love to have a direct feed of all the information that's coming into Planet InfoWars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Planet InfoWars LLC Terms of Use and Privacy Policy is right here in front of me. Okay? And I'm going to share with you some of the excerpts from it. And I want you to know how serious this is, all right? In Section 3.2, it says, and I'm going to give you excerpts here, okay? We may use your personal identifying information, okay, when complying with an order from, let's say, other government entities, right? Could it be Stratford? Who knows? What qualifies as a government entity? I don't know. But let's go further into his privacy policy and this is his own this isn't me okay i'm not making this up this is factually correct this is from his privacy policy he says 3.4 3.4 we use cookies log files and third parties to create a profile of our users and the information gathered is personally identifiable as belonging to you end quote 3.7 says that any information that you disclose to third parties on our website or other websites becomes public information. And you should exercise caution when deciding to disclose any personal information. So essentially, all information that you're plugging into his system, he says it's all public and it's going to go to a third party. And if they're a government entity, you lose all of your rights. Even his own policy gives him the right to take that pipeline or that file, that database of all of his users and just give it to Stratford. They love that. And being that I know that he's a an opportunist, okay, and it has come to me, and this, this opinion is derived based on factual information that has take play, taken place over years, people have come to me and have told me what he's done on the business side. He would easily transfer that information in exchange for getting Maybe some intelligence information from Stratford, right? That could be a possibility. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now know that this man, over the years, based on the people that have come to me, uh, based on all of the documented evidence that I have of his unsavory, unethical, unfair business practices, and the way he goes in and he, he basically steals other operations, has them shut down, box the people out, Turn down the, the radio stations. He removes himself. He, he remains detached. He has guys like, you know, like Wes, who live in one of his houses rent free so, to, so that he can, he can work in his operation, work directly for Alex Jones, while, while Wes is a partner on another operation that he wants to shut down. So he tells Wes, just go ahead and switch everything over to your name and box that other guy out and let him lose a couple hundred thousand bucks. You see, that's how the, that's how that goes. That's how it hits the streets. Maybe from maybe Wes called me and told me this. I don't know. Who knows? But maybe I have it all on recording uh, because that person says I, I just need some protection because this guy's he's just a dirty rotten. You know what? Read and listen to everything, and only believe what you researched yourself. So when this stuff is brought to me, I research it. Okay. And I go to WikiLeaks, and I take a look at Richard Parker at Stratford.com, who's also getting an email CC'd to rparker at parkermedia.com. Uh, 
who is also working side by side with this researcher, Molly Maroney. And then I also pull the document that she cites on her resume that says China cyber espionage and U.S. national security white paper for the U.S. government talking about, look at this thing. Look at this freaking disgusting thing that this chick is working on when she's hiding, hiding behind her uh, answering phones over there at Infowars.com, okay? Uh, this paper focuses on China, America's top economic competitor, and home to an increasingly impressive military force. She's writing about military forces, okay? You can make mistakes. You can say, you know what, I used to be a CIA analyst, but I quit that job. And I put that on my resume. I no longer wanted to be a CIA analyst. No, what you do is you hide. And you say that you're a graphic designer who's working in a completely separate department that's not affiliated with uh, Alex Jones. And somebody else hired him. All right, that's going to be the next story. Well, somebody else hired her. I didn't hire her. Really? That doesn't change the fact, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the fact. Here's my point. Okay? Alex Jones may not even be the one that hired her. But guess what? doesn't change the fact that we have a mole inside at Infowars.com. So if it's true that you didn't hire her, why don't you fire her? Why don't you do that? Show that to your listeners. That could change things. Then you won't have a mole. Then we could show that, you know, you can say, you know what? I'm sorry for two things. I'm sorry that I said last week when Peter Santilli brought it to the forefront let them rape women. I'm sorry I said that. And I'm also sorry that I hired a CIA analyst. And I'm also sorry that I closed businesses down, uh, just basically strangulating people uh, by having uh, having West live in one of my houses. And uh, I just screw everybody. Okay? I'm sorry I did all that stuff. And Mr. Jones, come clean. And then guess what? Your, your listenership is going to go through the roof, dude. Seriously, you'll be the one guy that has the high integrity in our entire system, and that's leadership that I can follow. But if you don't do that, you better protect your balls. Is, can it be disputed in any way, shape, or form? Ladies and gentlemen, right now, here is the fact that I'm presenting to you right now. Molly Maroney worked for Stratford, worked for Parker, same thing. I've proven that the, that the two are the same, and I have documentation of such, that she worked for a senator's office, for whatever reason, I don't know, but now she works internally at Enforce.com. Now, let me ask you this. If Susanna Cole was a CIA analyst, would you believe anything that came out of this place? If Ashley Jones was a known assassin, working for the CIA, and she's in our chat room, would you trust this place? Would you trust the integrity of what I'm telling you every single day? Probably not. Would I want you to expose Ashley Jones and Susanna Cole? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd want you to come forward with it no matter what, because I will have no part of that. Now, I'm using that as an example, but I'm talking about the integrity of the truth movement, the integrity of the 9-11 truth movement is now contaminated by a CIA analyst. Do you understand that? Do you understand the importance and significance of what I'm exposing here today? Now, I want you to help me in the following way. These facts are indisputable. Indisputable. There is no disputing this. There's no argument. You can't go up against me. You can call me. You can yell at me and say, Pete, oh, everything you just said is not true. Okay, you can shout all you want. It's true. It's indisputable. This is a matter of high public importance. Is it not, Susanna Cole? It is because it's it's like you said, he reaches tens of millions of people on a daily basis. He brags about that. And... um he has websites that you go to and you put every piece of information about yourself in that website. They know exactly what your mindset is, what you're thinking, what's on your mind. And it's like Suzanne Posel said, not only are they, do they have all of your information, 
but they're also analyzing you. Okay. They, they, they're looking at how you think and what your reaction is to things and what your point of view is. And, um, you know, it's, it's really dangerous stuff. We know this. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here. I know, but you guys are smarter than that. And, um, since you're on his website already and he already has your information, you need to, you need to put it to some use and, and you need to go on, um, Prison Planet, um, if you are a part of that and get this information out there until they shut you down. And believe me, he will shut you down. He will shut you down. Actually, the girl, uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Sherry Lee, uh, she was shut down and they also went after her YouTube accounts. So this is what I would like you to do as well, is I want you to replicate uh, this YouTube broadcast. I want you to download this MP3, okay? Because literally, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to share something with you very, very serious, okay? The Central Intelligence Agency has a lot of guns, right? We already know that. They have people mm-hmm. that they hire with a lot of guns. And so when it comes to Alex Jones, the only thing I can tell people is just like them, the very beginning, I followed Alex myself. I believe the guy was right where a lot of people still believe he is, okay? Myself, for a long time. And then on InfoWars, the one day, Alex Jones had posted an article and he was putting the Pope in the good spot, in the spotlight, as being a good person. But this was the king of fighting against the New World Order to stop the New World Order that was doing this, Alex Jones himself. And anybody that knows anything about the Pope knows that the Pope calls for a new world order. So that was like double speak within itself. And that threw up a red flag. And I had a friend. I still got a friend. His name is Adam. He used to call on my radio show now and again. Adam's a very intelligent man. He woke me up to the truth about Alex Jones. And I went and looked. And sure enough, he was correct. And the more you look into Alex Jones, the more you find out it's true. Everything that I've showed you in this video is 100% true. The only thing I can tell you is a lot like Carol and Democracy Now! and Amy Goodman. I used to follow Amy Goodman myself, okay? I really did. Very disappointed when I found out what I found out about her, just like Carol was. Same thing with Alex Jones. It was very disappointed, but it's the truth. Sometimes we hear truth we don't want to hear, we don't want to believe, but don't change the fact that it's truth. Alex Jones lied about William Cooper and all the, all the links I'll put in the more, including the only time Alex Jones was on a show, so that you can hear how that show went for yourself. And then all you got to do is go listen to the stuff that Alex says about Bill Cooper being on his show now, and you'll catch him lying, one lie right after another, as the guy will openly, facially lie to you. The Bohemian Grove was another good example of a fraud. Alex Jones did not sneak into the Bohemian Grove. He was invited into the Bohemian Grove. It wasn't a hidden cam. If you had a hidden cam hitting your shirt, nobody could see it. You sure wouldn't have the ability to be zooming in on people. All you got to do is pay attention to the wording of what happens during that so-called Bohemian Grove sneak in, and you'll find out that he once again frauded the people. Alex Jones is a liar and a deceiver, and people need to understand that and stop following him. The only thing I can tell you is look into this stuff for yourself. Everything I showed is true. And Susan Purcell, I'm going to leave the link to her article. It's 100% true. She's awake like I am, Alex Jones, and I hope that more people will wake up to him too. Hate to be that way, but the truth is the truth, and you can't change the truth. Alex Jones also wanted to discredit William Cooper on when it came to uh, aliens and UFOs and spaceships. Well, let me tell you something. UFOs, unidentified objects, is true. It's happened for years. And calling William Cooper a kook because he talked about this stuff is a ludicrous thing to say. Why? Because we have life on planet Earth, do we? Are we not here? That's right. It's a big galaxy full of planets. We've made it to space, haven't we? Human beings have born into space, haven't we? That's right. So what makes anybody think that there couldn't be life on another planet and that life on another planet may not have traveled out of space itself and may be furthermore advanced than we are? You'd have to be ludicrously nuts to say that's not true because you can't prove it's true or not true. So don't make William Cooper nut. Besides, William Cooper was the one that was shot to shut him up. He's dead, shot, set up to shut him up. Alex Jones is still alive and running, isn't he? 
And as far as Alex Jones's little confession about a family union, former CIA operatives, yeah, very true. It's right in your face, people. Wake up. That's all I can tell you. Wake up.